everyone. Welcome to Kanazawa, Japan. I'm here for two days. I have a group here. I'm showing them around for a couple of days. Something happened last night and I wanted to make a video about it because I think it's important. Uh, one person said to me before we went to dinner, Carl, is there any chance that we could go somewhere and get Wagyu beef? And I said, uh, yeah, there's two places I know of in Kanazawa that I would recommend. And then one person said, oh, any chance we could get Kobe beef? And I said, there's one place I would recommend, but yes, we can do that. And then they all got excited. And I said, if you don't mind me asking, about 16 people, I said, if you don't mind me asking, do you even know what that is? I mean, I'm not trying to be insulting, but you're using these terms and you're getting all excited. What's the difference between them? For example, have you ever heard of Matsusaka beef? That's some really good stuff. Have you heard of that? I got blank stares from everyone, blank stares from 16 people. You hear these things and you get excited because you know it's quality, but you don't really know what it is. So let's make this video, here's the beef. Most of you who watch my videos know that I've been a tour guide to Japan for years, but my focus for the past 18 years has been sushi. However, when I am in Japan, I am fortunate enough to sample some of the finest cuisine known. Outstanding soba in Nagano, incredible ramen in Fukuoka, tender, crunchy and flavorful tempura in Tokyo, and of course, extraordinary beef and steak in Tokyo, Kobe and Hokkaido. And when I first started offering tours to Japan, this spot, Gyu-An, was my go-to for amazing top quality steak. It's still in business, located in the Higashi Ginza area, and has great ratings online. Gyu-An prides itself in small, tender portions of Kobe beef. And to be honest, it was the only place I recommended for about six years straight. Whenever my tour members wanted to sample real Kobe beef, this was my go-to recommendation. But then I began dabbling in different Wagyu beef spots in Osaka and Saitama, Japan. And then I found myself enjoying tiny portions of super expensive Matsusaka beef at a spot named Loksen in Shinjuku. Shinjuku is a really big section of Tokyo. I paid attention, spoke to those who have solid experience, took notes, photos, and video, and then began eating more and more of these items every time I would return to Japan. Slowly, this became a habit. And then when I returned to the United States, I began noticing the most absurd and ridiculous claims in restaurants and grocery stores boasting that they were providing the same amazing products in America at outrageous prices. What I saw in Japan with my own eyes was not being served in the USA. And I got suspicious and began doing my homework. So let me say this, there are so many misunderstandings and misconceptions about Kobe beef, Waigyu, and Matsusaka beef that I decided to make this video for you. The number of scams and mislabelings are incredible, all for the sake of profit. And the confusion of all three terms is intentional. They want you to simply trust them. So, all right, I'm going to keep this video as basic as I can so I don't drown you in too many details, but here's the scoop. When you hear the term Wagyu, I want you to think of this as a generic umbrella term. If someone recommends a Wagyu steak or filet, they're not really telling you anything specific. You see, the term Wagyu is simply the collective name for the four principal Japanese breeds of beef cattle. All Wagyu cattle is derived from crossbreeding in the early 20th century of native Japanese cattle with imported stock mostly from Europe. In fact, the word Wagyu simply means Japanese cattle. Look it up. That's it. That's all it means. From this main header, you can extrapolate it into different classifications. So Wagyu is a generic term. Then you get into specifics. 
These breeds come from native Japanese cows that were crossed with Western cattle in the early 20th century and then selectively bred over generations to maximize their organic, unsaturated fat. To be clear, that's what all of this is about. Now, Kobe beef boasts a different and captivating flavor profile that sets it apart from the other types of beef that you are used to. You'll notice an exquisite marbling of intramuscular fat, and it lends to the exceptional tenderness and a rich, buttery texture. Experts in Kobe beef will tell you that you'll find the flavor to be rather sweet, lean in flavor, but buttery. It's important to understand that Kobe beef falls under one of the forms of Wagyu. So when you're talking about Kobe beef, you're talking about one classification of Wagyu beef, a subset of the Japanese black cattle. They aren't two different things. When you look at the main diagram of Wagyu classifications, Kobe beef is one of them. Wagyu from Kobe comes from a subspecies of Japanese black cattle called Tajima beef. And in order for a piece of beef to be considered authentic, certified Kobe beef, the cattle must be born in Tajima Gyu, which is an area of Japan's Hyogo prefecture. Kobe cattle must also be fed, raised, and processed within the Hyogo prefecture. If someone tells you they purchased authentic certified Kobe beef that was raised in the fields of Oklahoma, uh, no. Nice try. Matsusaka beef is the meat of the Japanese black cattle reared under remarkably strict conditions in the Matsusaka region of Mie in Japan. The Mie prefecture is right here. And if the beef is classified as Tokusen, it is premium stuff, top shelf. Now, if you see Matsusaka beef graded as A5, that's awesome, ordinary Matsusaka beef. Tokusen A5 Matsusaka beef should have evident marbling. And Tokusen A5 quality grade is some of the finest beef you can find. It possesses amazing flavor, can be cut with a common fork, and will be quite expensive. Now, if you're wondering if there's any differences when trying to find Matsusaka beef and Kobe beef, there is. One example would be that when referring to both, Kobe beef can be more easily acquired and found in restaurants outside of Japan. It may be lower quality. You'll get a range from A1 through A5 when found in the United States, but that's to be expected. The bigger problem is that Kobe beef has encountered integrity problems due to scams and claims throughout the United States. One farmer in Kansas can make the claim that he purchased two Kobe beef cows for breeding. And who's got the experience to verify this? The Japanese Breeding Council of Central Western Kansas? No, it doesn't exist. So he may or may not breed one Kobe cow with other common cows, and now he claims all Kobe beef standards now. This is happening everywhere. In fact, Forbes called out the unscrupulous behavior of restaurants regarding Japanese beef to be the ultimate scam. I was in Denver, Colorado, teaching sushi classes in early 2019, and I saw a specialty supermarket selling large portions of beef, labeled as Kobe beef and Wagyu, for $69.99 a pound. And I asked the butcher to source the beef, and he said, I really don't know, sir. That's what the paperwork says. We just print out the labels and put it there. Then, later that year, in New Orleans, Louisiana, two Japanese restaurants were claiming to offer skewers of Kobe beef. None of the portions offered the signature marbling nor flavor of Kobe beef, and they couldn't offer a single source of beef when requested. No one would offer the source. And believe me, if you purchased it from Kobe, Japan, and it came in an impressive box with paperwork, you would want to show that to everyone. Back in Houston, Texas, 80% of the spots I visited offered their sourcing, and I can vouch for the clues to quality Kobe and Wagyu beef. 
But still, there were others that didn't and wouldn't provide the sources, locations, suppliers, or paperwork. Back in 2021, I was walking through a big supermarket outside of Seattle, and I noticed one section in the meat department offering Matsusako Ushi A5 Wagyu beef for around $89 a pound. Folks, that is not possible. A single 8-ounce sirloin size portion would be $165, and they're selling it in bulk portions for $89 a pound? No way. Not to mention the color and marbling wasn't even close. Now, when you're in Japan, you will avoid the scams. There are a handful of places that you must consider when enjoying amazing beef. Number one for Matsusaka beef, consider a spot named Warakin Sukiyaki. This spot was founded in the 1800s and still packs them in. It's located in the Mie Prefecture, not too far from the city of Nara, Japan. Number two, for Kobe beef, as you can imagine, the finest Kobe beef spots are in Kobe, Japan. My favorite spot is named Hanasato. This place is just unbelievable. The food is exquisite, the sake is delectable, and the staff couldn't be more friendly and welcoming. Number three, for common Wagyu beef, consider Yakisoba Selona in Tokyo. I've dined there about six or seven times, and it was one of the best meals of my life. We asked the chef just to bring out what he liked the best, plus the Wagyu steak. It was absolutely to die for. When adding the Yakisoba, it is indescribably good. It wasn't cheap, nowhere near as pricey as the high-end teppanyaki places, but it's intimate with a great vibe. And number four, my final recommendation for great Kobe beef is named Bitful Teki no Kawamura. This place is probably the finest steakhouse I have ever experienced in Japan. Now, there are two locations. There's one location in Tokyo and one location in Kobe. The Tokyo location is located in the pricey district of the Ginza area and is a traditional teppanyaki restaurant, priding itself on using only the highest award-winning Kobe beef. Only a certain group of cattle, which passes the most strict conditions, will be called good enough for this place. It is a place for champion Kobe beef. Please keep in mind that the costs are very high, but you're not getting this quality beef at a discount. It would be like walking into a swanky jewelry shop and expecting a pristine 24 karat gold necklace for $12. In this case, if it's legit, it isn't cheap. So if you're walking the streets of Japan, you will find phenomenal steaks and beef that will blow your mind. But if you're in the United States, and you're interested in sampling a phenomenal, pricey meal of Kobe beef, Wagyu, or Matsusaka, always ask questions. I hope that clears things up. Uh, it gets needlessly confusing and it's very hard to follow, especially when companies and businesses are marketing the terms of beef differently. Any consumer is going to have a problem understanding. Well, listen. As always, we provide helpful links and information below this video. And then as always, there's the contact us button. Click on it. You can contact me or my staff directly. For journeytojapan.com, I'm Carl Rosa. Thanks for watching.